Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Warzone, and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the M13. Uh, this is a class setup that I've only been using in Warzone now due to the ground nerf, and I've been having a ton of fun using it. It's actually really, really good, and I've actually seen some pretty big streamers that are using this setup as well, so hopefully you guys will like this and be able to do really well with it. So if you guys take a look at the attachments that we're going to be using, the muzzle that we're going to be rocking with is the monolithic suppressor. I feel like most of you guys know at this point that that is a given. The monolithic suppressor is very, very important, giving us sound suppression as well as a little bit of damage range and a nice boost to accuracy and range. So again, the monolithic suppressor muzzle. The barrel that we're going to be using is the Tempest Marksman. So this is the best barrel to go with when you're going for range. Obviously, the Cyclone and definitely not the Mini, they're all way too uh, focused on mobility. So the Tempest Marksman with damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control, a very great way to go here. So that's the barrel we're rocking with. We're not going to be using a laser. The laser is not really necessary with the M13, especially in Warzone. So we're going to leave that off. Now, the optic that we're going to be using is something that is completely different than what I usually run. Uh, and that's going to be the Corp Combat Hollow Sight. So this is a really, really good holographic sight that you can use on your M13. It's really, really good for range. It's also decent for close quarters gunfight situations. This is obviously going to give you a nice boost to that accuracy and range. Most of the time, I use mini reflexes on my ARs. Sometimes I don't use anything, for example with the growl i never used to run a scope but with the m13 this hollow sight really changes the game and makes it much easier to hit people that are from really really far away that are running across the street or running out in the open it's just a really good holographic sight to use so again the corp the corp combat hollow sight is the optic we're using we're not going to be using a stock i'd rather use this attachment elsewhere so we're going to leave that off the underbarrel that we're going to be using is the Commando 4 rip. Now, I know a lot of people have different preferences when it comes to underbarrel. I personally think the Commando is the best way to go for a long distance class setup because we're not losing more ADS speed. We're getting recoil stabilization, which is obviously going to be the main purpose of the underbarrel. So we're getting that nice boost to accuracy and control. Uh, but, you know, we're also not losing ADS speed. So it's going to help us significantly in the long run. So Commando 4 grip, definitely the best way to go. I do want to point out, guys, that it does say that we gain aiming stability, which is not going to affect this class setup. So the stats do lie to you just a little bit uh, because we don't have idle sway on M13. So, but again, the commando foregrip, definitely what we're rocking with here. And last but not least, the ammunition that we're, we're going to use is the 60 round mag. This is another attachment that I feel like most of you guys should know by now is definitely worth using. The highest round mag possible for each gun. 60 round mags are really, really good for Warzone and, uh, and basically a must use. So uh, I'll give you guys one last look at all the stats and attachments that come with this specific class setup. If you guys have any questions or anything else to add about this specific class setup or the M13 in general, please make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure and try to help some of you guys out. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see all you guys in the next video.